Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to create another articulated creature, which I haven't actually done for an entire year. The last one was this one. Yep, this articulated Xander fish. I actually quite like this one and think it turned out pretty well. It had its own little moving flippers, but today is not going to be about this one or the articulated lizard that I created two years ago, but going to be about trying to create an eel, or at least an eel of sorts, as I don't know if it would necessarily turn out to be like an eel. More than likely, it will probably look like a dragon of sorts, just with an eelish face, but that's okay. I just want to make the inarticulated creature as they're quite fun to make. Anyways, let's jump straight into Blender and actually start designing this thing. Whoa! Immediately after getting into Blender, I grabbed some references from Wikipedia and then got into sculpting. I started by sculpting the body part and then adding diagonal lines to add more detail and I added the connecting pieces, which I actually duplicated another part and used that as a reference so that I knew the connection would actually work. Once I had the connection pieces done and the main body sculpted out, I then used an empty and an array modifier to rotate the eel body in a circle and make it smaller as it gets longer. This works because the array modifier is connected to the empty and by scaling the empty down, it affects how it's rotated. Also, you can rotate the empty so that you can make sure the joints are connected correctly. From here, I ended up creating the head, which I admit didn't really look like an eel and I ended up changing it off camera after I sculpted the tail. But once I did sculpt the tail and the head, I then connected everything together and voila, I had my eel or eelish looking creature. In order to print it, I scaled it up 1250 in Prusa Slicer and did a test print with the last three pieces on my Prusa Mini. They turned out great. Will it work? No idea. Let's pop it. Yep, it moves. Let's go. So I printed a full eel on Ender 3 at school. I found out after the fact that I actually didn't have the head connected to the main body, which made the head detach and it was really unusable. In order to try and resolve this problem, I tried just printing the head, but then before it covers over the top so that I couldn't insert anything in it, I wanted to insert the main body so that it would then cover up as if nothing ever happened. Unfortunately, this didn't really work, as the printer head ended up ramming into the body part of the articulated creature. As a result, it popped off the build plate, and yeah, just didn't work. So I, instead, I ended up just printing just the head top piece afterwards and then gluing them together. This worked. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a seam line, which I tried to fix. But yeah, that didn't really work. <laughs> instead, it was just going to melt it too much. Also, for those curious, I glued the head together with super glue. Not really sure if this is the best option for gluing 3D prints together, but it did work. Aside from that mishap, it actually printed really well, and this art entire articulated creature was really cool. I think it definitely turned out really well. Compared to my other ones, I still really like the articulated fish and the articulated lizard, but this one's just so long and so big that it looks really cool. Also, the filament turned out great. So here's just a slideshow of that entire print.
Hey everyone, thanks for making it to the end of the video. For those curious about the file, it will be available on my website if I ever get that completed. Hopefully I will, otherwise I'll put the file somewhere else. Also, if you're interested in supporting me, then I currently have a Kickstarter ongoing if you're seeing this video right after it's released, and any support would be greatly appreciated. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!